need to fight back now while we still got a chance. And I'm not looking for trouble. The globalists are looking for us. We didn't start this. Rick Santorum says he's vindicated. Media White House salon goes soft on pedophilia. Yeah, the media, the White House is doing it. Federal judges are saying, hey, you know, some 30-year-old guy wants to date your 12-year-old daughter. It's okay. As if your 12-year-old daughter can make that decision. And now we're the squares because we don't want to grab five-year-olds out of backyards. Now, I want to grab pedophiles and beat their brains out. I mean, I'll just be honest with you. My instinct is, I ever catch somebody abusing a child, raping a child, I'm going to kill them. And I don't like talking about killing people, folks, but, I mean, that's my instinct. I'm just being honest with you. And the people in this government, if this stuff continues to expand, you're going to be held accountable. I'm telling you right now. You've been pushing and pushing and pushing so long, it's time for you to back off. You understand? But I know you won't. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, getting back to White House propaganda. Whistleblower intelligence on ISIS being grossly thrown to the side. CENTCOM analysts given implied orders not to report facts on the ground in Iraq regarding terrorist activity. A retired Army sergeant has further revealed the U.S. military intelligence reports regarding terrorist activity in Iraq are being fundamentally manipulated and changed in order to fit with the positive public statements made by the Obama administration. And that's just a sergeant. We've had the general over the whole thing go public. And the reporter goes, so the White House was just dumb and didn't know it was funding al-Qaeda. He goes, no, we were ordered to. It was an order. And that dovetails with this. White House-linked group Soros bankrolled New fact-checking network. So you think Snopes is bad with some lady with a cat. She tells you what reality is. Project funded by organizations that funded Kiev coup. And this is just private groups doing what's over the top with CIA backing domestically. Operation Mockingbird with the Endowment for Democracy. That's George Soros. They're going to study... Uh, how to, quote, fact-check everything and tell us what reality is. And, of course, also, they're going to, quote, decide how to package information to manipulate us. That's what the CIA announced last week. I mean, this is so hardcore. <sighs> Dave in New York, thanks for holding her on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Doing all right, man. Okay. <clears throat> when you mentioned uh, children, you know, being able to choose whatever at age 12, I guess now at age 11, they're trying to push it where they can accept uh, one of the new 146 vaccines that are coming down the line. Yeah, they yeah they're saying parents don't matter. We, the state, are going to come in like pedophiles and get involved with your kids. One of the first things, that, and probably one of the only things I heard the Pope say, and it was shortly, shortly after he got off the plane, was that some dear lady had said, mentioned that he wasn't wearing, uh, you know, the ruby slippers, the scarlet slippers, and he was wearing white ones, that he must be the anti-Pope. And I'm thinking... Why in the world would he say something like that other than <clears throat> people are talking you know, about him, you know, about being the black pope and you know, how bad he's supposed to be. And so they're trying no, to... No, that's it. He's flaunting it. He's throwing it in our face. You can say what you want about past popes. I, re I reserve judgment because they were anti-communist, pro-family. This guy is just... How can you have a pope saying these things? The talking heads were making fun of, uh, I guess, family... Uh, South Park's coming out now with an episode where... Uh, one of the people in the town is talking about not the wall that we need to add. We need to keep the <clears throat> people coming across the border from entering our schools. Well, you know, Philadelphia just within the last few weeks mentioned that uh, with all the immigrants they have coming, they have 60 different countries and 40 different languages. So I guess you have to have an interpreter for each of the 40 different languages. They're creating a Tower of Babel. And then the Democrat managers make sure no one assimilates. Well, the Pope wants us to practice being poor. Well, I think they're going to do it just through school taxes. You know, it's not a, too hard to see. Well, hey, God, real quick. Sure, go ahead. Okay. You know, we, we know what the Trojan horse is, and obviously we've all said, you know, that's what's come across the border. But actually, it's a different horse, and it's a stalking horse. A pretext concealing one's real intentions. Tell you what, stay there. I got my reporters popping in. But if you'll hold some more, I'll come back to you, Dave.
Alex Jones here back live. Jakari Jackson is in D.C. They're going to be following the Pope's three-state trip. They got there yesterday before he arrived. They followed a bunch of powerful reports at Infowars.com and for the Infowars Nightly News. Uh, Jakari Jackson with David Knight joins us from the ground. Jakari? Jakari Jackson in Washington, D.C. That's right, Alex. We're here uh, right outside the White House, as you can see behind me. And if you look at it right now, a couple hours after the Pope gave his speech, you really wouldn't know anything happened here besides the barricades that are left behind. Uh, this was the area where I was at last night where they had the signs posted saying that you need a government-issued ID to enter the premises, but now they've opened it back up. As is the case for uh, most of the area surrounding the White House, they had it blocked off in several blocks, uh, every direction around the thing. You couldn't get anywhere close to it except to go through one of the checkpoints. And we showed you guys those videos, uh, the TSA actually doing checkpoints. And I know uh, you were happy to see that, Alex, not that you're happy that it happened, but to show people that the TSA is out in the streets doing these type of procedures. They're looking through people's bags. We got that on camera, digging through people's bags, picking out the contents, you know, flipping through people's pocketbooks and doing all that kind it of stuff. It shows deal. how the TSA is meant to be the new national police force. Yes, and they said it was a conspiracy theory. They said it would never happen. Well, we got documented proof right outside the White House that was going on. Now, as far as the speech itself, you know, we had all, all of our gear, all our big backpacks and stuff, so we couldn't get into the actual grounds where the Pope was speaking, but we could hear him over the loudspeakers. We could hear the people cheering. Uh, the estimates I saw, uh, CNN said something like 11,000 people were expected out here, so I guess that's a, a fair assessment. Now, as far as uh, it's getting footage of the Pope, we didn't get too close to him. I think it's close. I, I've told I got you guys, him. we don't care. We, who cares about... I mean, we can see what he says and does. It's about reporting on the security theater that's taking place and what people are saying. Yes, and when we were out there speaking to the people, you know, asked people, was it worth your time to come out here and see the Pope? They said, absolutely. You know, people, the area where I was in, I saw him from maybe 30 seconds through a very high-powered, zoomed lens. Uh, and I saw him about 30 seconds. They said, you know, it's worth their time. It's worth their day to come out here and see the Pope and just to see him for that very brief uh, interaction. Jakari, what do you make of the Pope saying that carbon dioxide and water vapor is air pollution and praising the new U.N. treaty? Well, you know, I'm definitely not a fan of uh, this carbon tax credit scheme they have going. We were watching Fox News last night, and it's probably the first time I've ever agreed with Bill O'Reilly, and I doubt if I ever will again, when he was talking about uh, the carbon situation and the carbon credits and all that. He says it's more of a pollution problem than it is a climate change problem, and I do agree with that. Because I often meet people who mix apples and oranges. They say, what about this type of pollution? What about that type of pollution? I say, yes, I do agree with that. But we do have that situation. But to say that we need a carbon credit scheme to make all that stuff go away, it does not make any sense to me at all. But many people, they were, you know, happy just to see the Pope for a few minutes. But the, uh, the theater, I asked people, do you think the uh, Pope has enough security? Many people said, I hope so. Even though we have, uh, I don't know, thousands upon thousands of people out here to protect the Pope. The Border Patrol is out here to protect the Pope, as David Knight documented. They're not on the southern border trying to secure that situation. No, they're up here guarding the Pope at the White House. So it's very interesting to me that uh, the Pope who clamors for open borders was guarded actually by the Border Patrol. I thought that was quite uh, ironic. Well, it's funny. He wants walls. He wants security. But as a nation, we're supposedly not supposed to have any security. But then internally, we've got the TSA searching us violating the Fourth Amendment to get miles away from His Holiness. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like I said, I walked through this area last night. You know, I could walk through free and open. Now, you know, it's pretty much uh, blocked off, barricade, you know, a little barricade city within a city. So, you know, the people uh, pretty much have been receptive to the message so far. No problems that I've seen, but we'll move on to the next area and try to see what's happening in places like New York and Philadelphia. That's right. He's going to New York next to speak at the U.N. You're going to be covering that with David Knight, our own David Knight. And then he's going to Philly. And no discussion of the aborted babies, the, the organ harvesting, no discussion of anything. Under pressure, he's reversed himself saying, stop talking about abortion so much. And he said we should protect all of the weak, including babies, the unborn. So I'll uh, give him that. And he's also said he's not a leftist. I don't know how it's not leftist to say prosperity is bad and being poor is good. That's really the goal of socialism is to make you dependent. Yeah, well, we've seen people like Obama. He goes over to Africa, I believe it was, and said that if Africans get air conditioned, the planet would boil over. And all these people talking about, you know, his uh, carbon footprint and all this, even though he may drive in some little Fiat Pope mobile 
He has, I don't know how many uh, armed guards riding around in their big suburban SUVs. Yeah, all it is is a publicity stunt. Same thing with Obama. He opts on Air Force One. He has all these people follow him around in the motorcades talking about our carbon footprint. No, they have the big carbon footprints. Well, Jakari, great report on the TSA. David Knight's excellent report on the Border Patrol. These are reports that nobody else is filing. Mainstream media just goes with the script that basically the second coming of Christ has happened. The Pope is here. He's endorsed Obama. I mean, it's like he's the false prophet and Obama's the Antichrist or something. I'm not saying that, but it's like a warm-up model of that. Great job, Jakari. We're going to come back and get David Knight's take briefly, then more calls and news. Well, you're not going to see mainstream media reporting on the TSA as the new national police force out uh, now to be in three states, I guess. we got video in D.C. searching people miles away from the Pontiff. You're not going to uh, really hear anything about the Border Patrol being called in to protect him as well. Just ridiculous. And believe me, I don't want anything to happen to this Pope that turned him into a martyr. Uh, it just shows the globalists are moving on every front. They're making announcements, forced inoculations all over the world, pedophilia, they say, is good, open borders is good, your women belong to us, ha, ha, ha. We're going to be radical jihadis in. Uh, we're going to bring carbon taxes in. We're going to exempt the UN. We're going to exempt the top corporations. The story out in California, the two rich uh, Arabs, teenagers driving, you know, million dollar Ferraris and Lamborghinis around through tiny streets at 100 miles an hour. That just illustrates when the cops pull them over and they go, oh, shut up, you stupid Americans. You can't stop us. We have diplomatic immunity. That's what the new world order is, is the globalists, the big banks, the big institutions are tax exempt above the law, just like the Vatican. They can do whatever they want. And then even their minions, under political correctness, they're above the law. They're hands off. Because it's part of the agenda. Everything is selectively enforced. It's a very dangerous situation. We're going to go back to your calls, Dave, uh, and of course, Matt, and then Margaret, Denise, Jared, and others. Uh, but I wanted to pop in with David Knight to get a live report from there in front of the White House with Jakari Jackson. Uh, David Knight, uh, your observation since you've been on the ground for about uh, 30 hours. David Knight reporting for InfoWars.com. Here we are in front of the White House, and of course behind me, Alex, is Andrew Jackson. In front of me is Jakari Jackson. Remember, Andrew Jackson was the guy that Ted Cruz said he'd like to see taken off the $20 bill so we didn't have to remove Alexander Hamilton. We need to remember that it was Andrew Jackson who fought to stop the central bank. It was Alexander Hamilton who fought to have a central bank. Nevertheless, that's an aside. Today, we walked, literally walked around the entire security perimeter here, carrying large packs, I will add, uh, pretty tired. Uh, but, you know, when I was walking, I told Jakari, I said, when George Washington was here, he said, he was asked about the British people. Are the British people free? Because Americans only wanted to talk about liberty at the time. I said, well, you talk about liberty all the time. Aren't the British free? And he said, they walk about freely, but between high walls. We literally were walking around Washington between high walls and helicopters over the head. We had policemen lined up so thick. The police line literally was a police line. It wasn't any kind of uh, markers there. It's absolutely amazing, Alex, and it's over the top. And it shows how people, as, as Jakari pointed out with his reports when he asked people, uh, what do you think about this? Is it too much? Are we over the top? No, no, we need to be safe. People don't talk about freedom anymore. They talk about the security state. It grieves me to see their acceptance of this. It grieves me to see all this. And I understand what's behind it. It's not about our safety. It's about their safety. It's about the safety of the elites, the people who go to the Bilderberg Conventions, the popes and the presidents who meet with each other. It's about their safety. They could care less about your safety or your freedom. Over here, where we got, we got kicked out of the park, we were uh, set up to uh, call in earlier. They closed the park. They kept, every, kept everybody out. Uh, for about an hour or so, no reason given, no time that they were going to come back was given. So Jakari and I were sitting over there waiting to get on, and right across from us was the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. They have big banners hanging out there. Jobs, growth, hashtag jobs. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce is the reason on the Republican side that we have open borders. They're working with Obama, the banners, McConnell, they're working with Obama to make sure that we have open borders we have a pope who's guarded by the Border Patrol because the Border Patrol isn't on the border. So that's the situation we got here. One other thing I'd like to add to, Alex, and that is this whole issue about the fiat. Everybody is talking about the humble pope and his fiat. 
understand that he flew in on a private jet before he 